Good morning, Haley. It's Thursday, and I tried making this vlog twice already, and it wouldn't work. So, I'm gonna just say this right now. I tried making this vlog twice, like I just said. I don't know why I keep repeating that. Um, I'm not gonna make it a third time, because I'm tired. I've been up since 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, because I couldn't sleep, for some reason. So I just pulled an all-nighter. Um... Doing what, you may ask? Not being productive, that's what... I mean, I worked on my essay, and I tried to get fix the printer, but mostly I was just on Tumblr, and, uh... What else did I do? I tried writing a little bit, but that really sucked. That was just... I don't want to talk about that. Um, so... Oh, 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 I have a story. So, at 5.30 this morning, there were hooves... clopping on the pavement... Like, click, 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 I'm like, what the hell is that? So I go look out the window and there's a fucking cow strutting down the street. It's my neighbor's cow. I know that because every time I go outside these days, a cow is going, boo. Speaking of cows, by the way, I was looking on Tumblr and apparently the PSAT, that whack-ass test, like, you have to take before the, the SAT or ACT or whatever, uh, there was, like, a thing where people had, like, never seen a cow before and, like, apparently... There's a story called The Translator and about these two gay Japanese guys getting at it in the closet, and I don't know. It was just messed up. I wish I had taken that PSAT, because that seems a lot more interesting than whatever we had. That was just so boring, I, I just blocked it out of my mind. I don't even remember what ours was about. But it wasn't about two gay Japanese dudes that apparently everyone ships on Tumblr, because everyone on Tumblr always ships a gay couple. So that's Tumblr logic. Um, Let's see. So I chased a cow this morning. Didn't sleep. Um, and that's pretty much my morning. Um, what's my vlog going to be about today? My vlog today is going to be about motivation. How does that tie into sex week? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, motivation. Motivation is the urge to do something. You're motivated by the nap that you promised yourself when you get home to do well on a math test. You're motivated by wanting to get into a good college to do well on your English test or whatever that you want to, whatever your fuels you. You know, for me, sometimes it's like, okay, if you study for 30 minutes, then you can watch an episode of How I Met Your Mother. Or if you do well on this test, then you can go to the movies or something. Um, so just fuel, your, fuel, yourself with motiva fuel yourself with motivation and reward. Make sure you reward yourself. But don't reward yourself if you don't do shit, because that's just, that's just not logical. You know, if you don't do your homework, then don't freaking reward yourself with 15 hours of supernatural. That's just not, that's just not the way it works, because in the working world, if you do stuff and you do it well, sometimes you'll get rewarded, and maybe you'll get a couple of extra bucks on your paycheck, or maybe you'll get a day off that you would have normally not gotten off. Um... Motivation also to kind of clean your life up. I recently got a huge boost of motivation to clean my life up after doing this event called Gishwiz in August, and it motivated me to get out of bed in the morning and to, you know, spread the love and spread the joy with people. Um, so, let's see. There's some people that, you know, are motivated by other people. There's some people motivated by things. Um... Go, something that goes along with motivation is the concept of confidence, which is the most sexy trait ever. However, I will point out there's a distinction between being confident and being cocky. So don't cross that line because being cocky is like when you're at a club and you're hitting on someone and they say, tell you no and you keep coming back and try to hit on them. That's just, no, that's cockiness. Also, uh, being good at something does not mean you get to brag about how good you are at the thing. So, if you're good at AP Calculus, you're allowed to gloat that you're good at AP Calculus, but don't bring it into every single conversation. Like, hi, what's your name? I'm awesome at AP Calculus. I got a 98% on the hardest test of the year. Dude, I just asked you what your name was. I didn't care about your fucking test score. Like, what what the hell? So, there's, there's, a, there's a line between being confident and cocky. Um... That, that's very kind of thin. But there's a very, you know, bold line between being un incompetent and confident. And, you know, you can tell the people that are incompetent by, you know, they're looking down at the ground, they're kind of like a dog with a tail between their legs. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to be confident, or at least fake confident. 
Uh, walk into the room like you own it with your shoulders back and your head up and your chest held high. That's like a powerful kind of essence you're like bringing to the room because people will take notice on that. They'll look at your posture because, you know, the, it's not like you're like speaking as you're, before you come in. Most of the time you're walking in and that's your first impression that you put upon someone is the way that you walk in. And if people notice that you're, you know, walking confidently, they'll think that you're a confident individual. So this is where it comes into sex. Dating. You want to date someone that, that is compatible with you, I guess. And a lot of the time, there, there are many, 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 many different types of people in this world. Um, but confidence on, in everyone is kind of the same in that, you know, they have enough respect for themselves to be able to let themselves be presented to another person and become vulnerable to this other person that they're being with. Um, and that's a big part with, with sex is intimacy. Allowing yourself to open up to that other person, being confident with yourself enough to open up to that other person. Um, so always be confident. Just be prepared as always. Be confident. Be prepared. Because you never know what life's going to tackle you with. You know, you could run into someone that you're going to fall in love with and you're going to want to be confident because that is something that really reels people in and really makes them take note on you is the way that you walk into the room, the way that you make them feel. I'm going to kind of jump topics a little bit and say that if you're in a romantic relationship with someone, this is what you need to say to them. Um... Being in a relationship with someone means you're being equal. No one's walking in front of anyone. No one's walking behind anyone. You're walking side by side with them. But when the sand gets too high and the sun gets too bright, sometimes you need to carry that other person to get them through the tough times. Um, and if that other person doesn't need you, just walk beside them. You don't need to hold their hand or carry them. You just need to walk beside them when they do need you. When you love someone, you have to be there for them. Uh... Not all the time. You don't have to be literally beside them all the time. You could be thousands of miles apart and still be metaphorically next to them and be with them in a partnership. That is what a relationship is. It's a partnership between two people trying to help each other through this crazy thing called life and love. Um, so you want to be with someone that's going to do that with you, that's going to be compatible enough with you that they'll walk through that with you and like I said you know sometimes it'll become hard for them and you'll have to carry them and sometimes it'll become hard for you and they have to carry you um you, have to, you know marriage vows don't say for better or for worse for nothing that's you know standard stuff you have to be with that person not you don't have to but you should be with that person to thicken them for better and worse, for richer or poor, for as long as you both shall live. Because that's what, that is what you promise God, or Jesus, or whoever you believe in. Um, that you're with, that you're walking with that other person, and that you're, um, gonna be there for them. And I know I kind of said the same thing over and over and over again, but I'm trying to, my, my thoughts are stars I cannot fathom in the constellations right now. Thank you, Augustus, for that wonderful line, because that literally sums up, like, every time I have an idea and I just kind of go over the place for it that's like it's like a constellation or it's like a messed up constellation because I can't fathom my thoughts that well um so I think I'm gonna wrap that up because that's, this is a long ass video by the way by the way you cannot punish me for this video being over uh five minutes long because I said so um no because it's Thursday it's not my vlogging day technically um things got messed up this week so we're going to just pretend that this week there's no rules. It's just we had to talk about sex, and I did that a little bit. Um, more relationships than sex, but oh well. Um, this is kind of the person I am. I, I, I like, I, I value relationships more than I value sex because, you know, they're, I don't know. That's just, I've never been in a, in a situation where I've experienced both of them, I've experienced one of them, but not the other one, and you know which one that is. So I'm going to wrap this up before this gets 10 minutes long and doubles over the time limit. Um, I, will, I think I'll see you on Friday, or I, I don't know. I'll see you sometime this week, um, probably on FaceTime before you see this. Yeah, so bye. I will see you on some day that is not today. 
maybe tomorrow, but not the next day. I don't know. Bye.